Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me today. We are in lesson 26, compare link. So I want you to look at the picture today. Hmm. Can you tell which one is longer? Which shoe is shorter? Do you think you can find someone in your house that has a longer shoe than you? Can you find anyone at home that has a shorter shoe than you? If you need to pause at any time on these videos, you can do that and find your person. When we measure boys and girls, when we compare lengths, we want everything to be lined up. So for instance, if I compare a crayon to my pencil, I can draw a crayon here, but I'm gonna start right on that line and draw a crayon. Okay, hmm. There's my blue crayon, and it is shorter than my pencil. But the important thing is to line up so we're starting in the same spot. Next, Let's take a look at this picture. It says, make sense of the problem. There are lots of things in this picture that we can try to figure out. What I want you to look for or find out are some things that are longer, shorter, taller, smaller than something else. There's a lot of information that's important Look at the whole picture. The whole picture gives you information. If you have your books, boys and girls, we are on pages 151, 152, and 153. If you have your practice and problem solving pages, we are on page 223. Remember, if you ever need to pause to get books, pencils, crayons, or to do an activity, that's okay. Did you find the bats when you were looking? Look, they're both lined up on the ends here, and we can easily see that the yellow bat is longer than the red bat. I'm wondering what else you found. Can you describe the trees to someone? Did you use the word taller, shorter? Look at some other things in the picture. Is there anything that you found that is the same? The children look like they are the same size or the same height. One is not much taller than the other one. Keep looking for those things that are taller and shorter, boys and girls, and we'll meet another time. Thanks.